We're going to make something really special that's kind of quick and easy, but it's going to taste like it was made in a five-star restaurant. Welcome back everybody. I'm Ron and Judy's behind the camera and today we're going to do something with a venison backstrap. We're going to try to stuff one. We're going to stuff it a couple of different ways. One of them we're going to do is going to be a cream cheese and pork sausage stuffing. And we'll also put some mushrooms in there. And a little bit of garlic, minced garlic that we have. And the other one's going to be blue cheese. And we're going to put blue cheese and garlic. And we're going to put some spinach in it, um, some baby spinach in it. And then we're going to wrap it with bacon. Venison is a very lean meat. So we're going to be wrapping it in bacon. But what we're going to do is we're going to stuff it. You want to get all of the silver, as much of the silver skin off of it as you can. You see that this has um, been cleaned out really good. And we've got, this is actually one back strap. But we'll cut it in half and we're going to tr um, cut it in a couple of different ways for, or stuff it a couple of different ways. The thing we want to do is we want to start and cut the thing, leave a little bit at the end so that it doesn't cut all the way open. But we want to cut it down through. <clears throat> and we want to make a pocket all the way just about to the end. We're going to open this up a little bit more. Like so. And that's the that's the, the oven preheating. <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing with this smaller one. We're going to start just before you get to the end. And we're going to cut and make a pocket inside of it. Something that we're going to put on both of them, in both of them, is some garlic. We've got minced garlic here. The next thing we're going to do is I took some of the baby spinach and I stemmed it and then chopped it a little bit. I didn't chop it down really fine because we wanted to have a little bit of sus or substance to it. We're going to put that in both of them. The next thing we're going to put on both of them is I got some of the mushrooms out and I chopped them up a little bit so that they weren't whole. We'll put some. What we're going to do now is we're going to put some um, cream cheese in the, the, one, the one. And then on the smaller one of the two we're going to put um, blue cheese. On the floor too. <laughs> Then on the bigger one, we're going to put some of the, the, the pork sausage that I browned up. Get it nice and stuffed. It's, it's going to make it really hard to close up. It's going to make a little bit of a mess when we do this is we're going to take the bacon and we're going to wrap the bacon over the top one way and you wrap the bacon all the same side first Now we're going to take the bacon, we wrap the other side back around. This is meat stuffed in meat, wrapped with meat. It doesn't get any better than that. Okay, now we're going to take them, we put parchment paper down on top of the, our little pan here. And we're going to put it into the oven that we preheated at 400 degrees. And we're going to um, let them cook for 25 minutes. Well, we took them out of the oven after um, 30 minutes. We, we didn't went an extra five minutes with them. And we're going to now let them rest for five minutes before we cut them. 
Okay, now that it's um, been in the oven for 30 minutes and we let it rest for five minutes, we're gonna slice it up. We're gonna slice it in about one inch thick slices. So we're gonna try that. Now the idea is not to overcook venison because it's so lean. So this is um, probably about a medium rare, not quite medium. It's more medium than it is medium rare. So probably the 25 um, minutes would have been enough, but it, it's gonna, it looks really good. Okay, there you have it. I'm not really a super chef, but I really enjoy cooking venison in different ways. And this has gotta be one of my favorite. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Leave some comments in the, in the, down below. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.